Charleston, South Carolina is one of the best cities to walk, shop, dine, and learn about history. Charleston, South Carolina is one of the oldest cities in the United States, and I had a wonderful time walking around and learning much about the history of the city. Hi, this is Carl Valeri with SerendipitousJourney.com. I invite you to come along on a tour of Charleston, South Carolina. I really enjoyed my stay there. Charleston actually is an interesting city. They're recognized as one of the best-mannered cities in the U.S. It's also one of the most livable cities and one of the best cities for walking, of course. It's also in the South, and it's one of the most friendly cities. It's been voted in Travel and Leisure to be one of the best cities to visit, too. And if you're going to go, you are going to learn so much about history. One of the best ways to learn about Charleston is to go to the Charleston uh, Visitors set website, which I'll put in links here. I'll have links to all the things that I talk about here. This is just going to be a quick tour of some of the things that I enjoyed the day that I was there. One of the things that I've always wanted to do while in Charleston is to take a walking tour of Charleston, South Carolina. There's many tours out there, and one of them is, of course, the original Charleston walks. These have, like, the the ghosts and legends of Charleston and pirates and patriots. One of my favorites is uh, the historic Holmes walk, which actually I was going to take, but I had a friend that took me on his own tour of the city, and that was terrific. He had a great knowledge of the history of all these different uh, buildings there. One of the most interesting things about the buildings and the way that they're set up is normally the, the front of the home, or what I would consider the front of the home, seems like the side of the home. They build these homes down deep into the lots, and they have driveways next to them and huge porches. Charleston Strolls is another great tour uh, if you're going to look for a, a walking tour. They have uh, what they call Rainbow Row with all the different colored homes, uh, the historic waterfront battery tour, uh, visual tour Fort Sumter, uh, hidden gardens and courtyards, and then also some of the churches and graveyards in the area. And, and also you learn quite a bit about the Revolutionary War and also about the Civil War. Before we got going on our tour, though, and of our own personal walking tour of the city, we decided to stop by and get something to eat. We asked around, and there's this great little restaurant off of King Street, and it's called Basil Thai Restaurant. Really neat-looking uh, restaurant. It has uh, some very modern style to it, some of the best spring rolls I've ever had, and the pad thai was delicious. If you get a chance, go down on King Street and check out Basil Thai Restaurant. I'll have links to that restaurant also. One of the places that I always bring people to visit when I'm in Charleston is the historic city market. This city market actually was ceded to the city. Actually, the land underneath was ceded to the city by uh, Charles Pickney, and that was in 1788. And he stipulated when he gave it to the city that the site had to remain a public market in perpetuity. Well, they, they built this, and they had many different, you know, they had fish vendors and different vendors of all different products within here. But at one point, there's there was a fire that it burnt down most of the buildings, and they rebuilt. And if you see the building at the front there and think that it looks like something you may have seen in Greece, well, it sure is. It was actually modeled after the Temple of Wingless Victory in Athens. And this... Uh, this building here was actually built in 1841. Since the about the 70s, the original sheds and areas of opposite the market on both sides have housed all these different shops. It's really eclectic. When you walk through this market, one of the most amazing things is it seems that it never ends. You keep walking and walking. There's one store after another and varied stores. You have everything from little touristy shops to some high-end uh, different types of things that you can buy. The American History Museum at the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C. actually made it part of a permanent exhibit entitled Life in Coastal South Carolina around 1840. After leaving the marketplace, we decided to let's go take a walk down towards the waterfront. The waterfront is just beautiful off of what's called Bay Street. And Bay Street has the shuttle a boat that actually can take you from the land over to Fort Sumter. And Fort Sumter, of course, is where the Civil War began in April 12, 1861, when the Confederates 
opened fire on this fort in Charleston Harbor. And of course, Fort Sumter was send- surrendered over 24 hours later, and it would take over four years for them to get this back. Very significant. This is where the Civil War began. But if you want to go see it, make sure you go to the National Park Service website and see how you can get over there. The day we were there, boy, it was really windy, as you can see from some of the video that I've shot. But it, it still is just such a beautiful place to walk along Bay Street. And one of the things that I would encourage you to do, if you do one of the walking tours, or if you go out and try to do your own self-tour, is try to see as many of these homes as possible. They're amazing what people have done with these. So that was my quick tour that day of Charleston, South Carolina. And I hope you've enjoyed this little segment. I want to encourage you to go to serendipitousjourney.com and look up some of the links I have there. And I'm also going to put some other videos that have been presented by the Charleston Convention and Visitor Bureau They have some wonderful videos about the history and also things that you can do. You can also, when you go to that website, you can order one of the visitor's guides. If you're going to take a trip to the south, one of my favorite cities is Savannah. My other favorite city is Charleston, South Carolina. Really, it's in tune with the antebellum south, and also it's in tune with modernism. It really is one of those cities that has embraced our future and also preserves our past. I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll see you soon in the next issue. And remember, life truly is a serendipitous journey. Whether it's around the block or halfway around the world, you never know what fortunate discoveries you'll have through travel. See you next time.